Hey guys, it's Robbie with SideQuest Fitness. I want to go over a couple uh, deadlift cues that I give clients who are new to learning the hip hinge. Uh, a lot of times people struggle with this, this movement because we don't. We sit a lot, our hip, our hip flexors get tight, our glutes get weak, and we just don't understand how to move in the hips properly. Um, so this is just some, some mental cues I give people who are new to it to get them used to it. First thing I do is I grab a piece of paper. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold a piece of paper. So just bear with me for a second and go with me. So piece of paper right here, we're gonna fold it in half. All right, now why would I fold the piece of paper? Everyone has folded paper hundreds, thousands of times in their life growing up. Our hips sort of fold in that same motion. So if we open that piece of paper up, all right, if this is you standing and this is you hip hinging, you're making that same motion with a hip hinge as when you fold that piece of paper over. So what I do with my clients is I have them grab their hips right, right in here and I just tell them, take your hands and I want you to fold your hips like you're folding a piece of paper. So take your fingers and fold into your hips, pushing your butt back. It doesn't have to be much, but they get that feeling, they get that proprioception of, oh, my hips can go like that because again, how many times have you folded a piece of paper in an art class as a kid? Thousands. How many times have you folded paper working in an office? Thousands. So again, you just fold the piece of paper at the hips, get used to that, come back up. So that's just a simple cue I give my clients uh, or people who are new to doing a hip hinge that doesn't involve going to the wall, but just something they can feel so they can feel it with their hands and know that their hips can move in that direction.